Welcome back to my channel. I am Seraphim190. Ton. Welcome, 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 won't you? This is my episode today about Super Mario. I've recreated the first level, or some of it anyway. This is my new pet project. As you can see, I'm using very similar blocks to the original NES version of the game. And I'm using it through texture, city texture pack. And that's the bricks there. And you can see I've got the pipes. And they work, guys. They actually factionally work. I'm not even having to press anything. I just jump down one pipe and I get pushed out the other. You could also do this with villages. Not entire masses of terraforming. I'm not talking about moving whole cultures, guys. But actual village, actual village people. You can chuck them down the pipes too. Watch this. So let's chuck down one guy. And without having to do anything at all, it literally come back up this pipe here. All on their own, guys. This is an epic design. This is my own uh, little contraption I came up with earlier today. And I was surprised that it actually works like this. So let's try it again. So let's put another villager down. And um, yeah, it'll just come up on its own, guys. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah, so let's get building if you'd like to know how this is done. These start from the beginning. Every story- Get out of my way! Every story has a beginning, so let's go back to that point and let's start the tu- That is so cool. Let's start the tu tutorial then, guys! Okay, these are the things we're gonna need. We're gonna need obsidian to stop the immovableness from the stickiness from the slime blocks, okay? Because that's very important. It's very important. It's very important. It's very important. It's very important. Basically, we don't need much, guys. We need some- uh, we need packed ice instead of regular ice. The reason why is so that we can put a uh, trip wire on it. That's very important, guys. So, <laughs> we need to build a wall up with dirt blocks. And you need one sticky piston, that's it, guys. So that you don't really need anything. Uh, so trap trap doors we need. Every second every second block, place a trap door. Trust me, guys, I seriously believe that it makes it faster than if you were to put trap doors on every single one. Or with no trapdoors at all. So this is where we're going to put the trip, wire, the trip wire right here at the beginning. This is where you first jump down. So make sure you can put the... We're going to need a bit of string, so find your string. And whack your string down here on the packed ice. Because that won't work on regular ice. Now that this is working perfectly, we just need a bit of redstone. And whack it at the back here, because we're going to hook that up to a sticky piston and a slime block. This is pretty much the only redstone in that you need, guys. We're practically done. Alright, so, yeah, let's put a block here, an immovable, so you cannot move these blocks. Unmovable, not immovable. Uh, I don't know. So there's a sticky piston and the slime block, and it's connected now with the redstone. Connect that up like soap, and we're pretty much practically done. There we go. Okay, so let's say we jump down here. It's gonna... What? What just happened? Um, guys... I need another piece of obsidian right here because the dirt block was pushed and it broke the string. Okay, so that's important too. So let's try that again. Alright, so let's come back up to the top of the pipe and let's jump in. Bang! Look at that, guys. Perfect. You can actually make this as long or as short as you wish. I'm going to do about this long for the tutorial. If you make it any longer, you're going to have to start using your brain. I mean, in the sense that you're going to have to hook up some more pistons to push even further. Or you're just going to have to walk or use a cart. But for this distance here, it's perfect. You could also use water to help you push a little further as well. But this contraption is perfect length right here. Okay, the next trick for going back up the pipe, it'll, we're going to need a lot of things. See how I've just put a pressure plate down there? That's to keep the last block of water in the right, in the right spot. I just want to let you guys know, that's what makes the villagers go up on their own, this part here. So you might want to rewind it and have a look at here. Okay, so that's the beginning part, and it pushes you over here. And the second the villagers go in here, the water will just start pushing them up. It's like I said here, you need either a, a pressure plate or a trap door to keep that first block of water intact. Okay, so the next part is very simple. You just need some regular ice blocks this time. And we're going to melt those bad boys all the way up to the top and break every second one. So it's going to look like this. So just above that one, we're going to break this one underneath. And every second one, basically. We're going to leave a gap. Then we're just going to melt them with glowstone. So let's do that real quick. So now that we have the glowstone melting all the ice, let's get to the start over here and start building our pipes up, shall we? So let's start building the pipes. Uh, I'm going to just build around. Make sure your sticky piston 
and your slime block will not push those blocks around. So I'm just going to put some more obsidian. You guys can probably do a better job making better looking pipes than I can, but um, I'm just rushing this, okay? Um, yeah, so you can make them as big or as small as you wish to, which is really, really cool. So this is my regular pipe. I'm going to make it small and as compact as possible. And a bit of dark green to match up with the uh, the original pipes on the game. Okay, let's do this one. And we also need to cover the floor. Keep in mind, I couldn't dig any deeper than four blocks because I'm a super flat world, guys. I'm a super flat world, man. So in survival, guys, obviously, or in another world, your world, you should be able to dig a lot deeper. Okay, we're nearly done. And faction! Let's test it out, and it works perfectly, guys. So this is a part one of a three-part series on how to build Super Mario World in Minecraft. In Minecraft. So these are the pipes worked out. Works nice, I like it, it works pretty well. If you guys have a better idea or better design, let me know and I'll make another show. Thanks guys for watching. I am Sarah from 190 and I'll see you guys tomorrow, no doubt. Peace out. BITCH! Hey, is this thing still on?